So the first session of the tutorial will start with an overview on the Onyx software architecture. The presentation material for this session is prepared by my colleague Bo Yan. The Open Neural Network Compiler, also known as Onyx, is a retargetable neural network compilation framework. Currently, it supports multiple target backends. In the current open source release, there are three full functional backends, including a C backend, an x86 backend, and an NVIDIA backend. For any specific target, Onyx can serve as a compiler, a calibrator, or even a workload generator for simulations. As a framework, Onyx is designed specifically for proprietary deep learning isolators. It means that anyone can customize a compiler for their target hardware using the Onyx framework. Developers can leverage many compiler design modules in the Onyx framework and focus on the target-dependent customization and optimizations to minimize the porting efforts. As a compiler, Onyx is the first open source compiler for the NVIDIA Deep Learning Accelerator. Users can extend and modify the NVIDIA backend to support their models running on the NVIDIA hardware. This tutorial will focus on the NVIDIA backend. Hopefully, this open source project will help you to create any interesting compiler related project on the NVIDIA hardware. You are welcome to join us and share your work to the Onyx community in the future. This diagram shows the major modules available in the Onyx framework. We categorize them by functionalities. The ones in gray boxes are most important modules for compiler developers. We will cover them one by one in this session. First, let's take a look at the optimization library. If you are new to the Onyx project, or you just want to use Onyx as a tool for research, this library is probably the best starting point for you. You can learn how to write an optimization path without knowing too much about the whole framework. In addition, the optimization library consists of a lot of optimization paths. Each optimization path is designed for a specific purpose. For example, we need many optimization passes to convert unsupported operators into a combination of supported operators. For this purpose, the optimization pass needs to guarantee that the converted graph needs to be mathematically equivalent to the original one. Another example is to use an optimization pass to eliminate operators that do not affect the inference results. This type of optimization path usually improves the inference performance by reducing the amount of computation. This slide lists all building optimizations in the Onyx framework. We have another tutorial session that covers the graph level optimizations listed here in details. So we will skip the details for the time being. Next. Backend is a major module for users to customize an Onyx based compiler for a specific hardware. The Onyx framework provides an Onyx model parser and graph level optimizations just as what a typical compiler front end would do. In Onyx, all front end functionalities are usually embedded in an Onyx backend implementation. The default backend implementation in the Onyx framework covers a couple of uh, required paces, including TensorSolate, Tensor Scheduling, Memory Allocation, and CoEmit. In current NVIDIA app backend, most of jobs are done in the CoEmit path. In the long run, we like to move some paths out of CoEmit to align with the Onyx framework design. The x86 backend is the default backend. It is a spatial backend that does not emit any code. The backend connects the Onyx IR to an interpreter, ONNI, which calls the Onyx runtime APIs to carry out the model inference. 
The NVIDIA backend converts an AI model to an NVIDIA-supported format. It's called Loadable. It contains the required network information for running inference on the NVIDIA hardware. The C backend is released recently. The motivation is to support more embedded processors by converting AI models into C runtime implementations. If a target platform has a cross compiler for C language, users can leverage the C backend to generate executable on that target platform. The core concept of the ONIC framework is task scheduling and execution. Compiler developers decompose different IR graph processing logics and implement them as individual path types. Create path instance and add them into the path manager. And then the path manager will iterate through each path in a predefined order. The path manager may stop or try running a path according to the return value from the path instance. The ONIC framework follows the analysis usage object design in the LLVM framework to handle the path dependency. When users implement a path type, they can define dependency between path types. Many of compiler features are based on IR graph manipulation. Therefore, the ONIC framework provides an IR manipulation library for users to do IR conversion, rewrite graph, support topological sorting, and so on. A lower is a converter to transform an ONIX IR into an ONIX IR. For example, conf lower converts the ONIX IR conf into the ONIX IR conf. Each ONIX IR has their own lower type, and the relationship between the ONIX IR and the ONIX IR is one-to-one -one mapping. In the ONIC framework, a module represents all the information in a model file, and there are existing helper functions to create a module instance. Compute graph is a connective uh, graph in a model. Compute operator are the nodes in compute graph. Tensor is the age between compute operators. They occupy memory and store computation results. Last, we have an IR builder to provide many helper types and functions for module creation. With the framework support mentioned in previous slides, it is easy to port ONIC to a specific hardware. Here shows the software pipeline. ONIC takes an ONIX model file as input. First, it parses the model into the ONIX IR and lowers the ONIX IR to ONIX IR accordingly. This is the first and basic step for every backend. The lowering path converts ONIX IR into ONIX IR. After this conversion, we only need to focus on the ONIX IR graph in a target backend. After lowering, every backend has different ways to proceed. In the x86 backend, before connecting to the interpreter, we have a layer fusion path, which fuses a conf and relu operator pair into a single ONIC IR to save memory consumption and improve performance. Users can implement more layer fusions for further improvement. In the interpreter, each operator calls an ONIC runtime API to do the computation. In the C backend, no additional IR graph processing is done before emitting a C source file. In the NVIDIA backend, we performed graph level optimizations and a legalization pass before call emit. In the call emit pass, we prepare all the information required in the loadable and include target-dependent optimizations as well. Now, let's talk about how to create a new backend. When writing our own backend class, the first thing is to inherit from the target backend class. In the ONIC compiler workflow, every backend has a couple of standard passes listed in the slide. 
In most cases, we can just reuse the methods inherited from the target backend class. However, some methods like add tensor select in the target backend class is empty and does nothing. We need to convert Onyx IR into Onyx IR explicitly to enable front end parsing in a backend. To avoid this kind of confusion and help users to get started, we provide a script to create a ready to use backend in repository. In addition to the five methods listed here, there is another important method, register lowers in target backend. Backend developers can override this method to define the valid Onyx IR by adding corresponding lowers in the registry. Invalid Onyx IR will be captured in early stage of compilation. This slide lists all the steps we need to create a new backend. First, you need to write a subclass of the target backend class, and then override register lowers to define legal Onyx IR. Next, override lifetime events to get expected behavior and register the backend class into Onyx. The backend registration allows Onyx users to choose backend through a command line option. Finally, recompile the Onyx binary. More details are covered in the Onyx tutorial lab 3. The fastest way to create a new backend is shown at the bottom of the slide. The create new backend script takes only one argument, which will be used to name the backend class in the C++ source code. The name should be a valid identifier, and we should use lowercase name test to choose this new backend in compilation. Here is how the register lowers method looks like. The pass manager will pass in an empty lower registry object to accommodate a legal Onyx IR set. In this code snippet, we register lowers for add, average pool, batch normalization, and other operators. If there is an unregistered Onyx IR in the input model, compilation will terminate with an unsupported operator error message. At the end of this session, we will demonstrate how to create a new backend step by step. Please refer to the lab 3 in the Onyx tutorial repository for more details.